Hi, I'm Jeff Searle, Senior VP of Germ Free Laboratories, and we're standing here today um, with our new next generation of clean room trailers. We've had a clean room trailer on the market for a number of years now to serve the hospital pharmacy market. Um, this new next generation will actually allow us to serve a number of different markets in the same platform. A bunch of features we walk through as we tour the trailer, um, but starting from the outside, you'll notice that not only are we standing on a platform and covered by a cover that's integrated into the closure of the trailer, our main entry wall, which is recessed back a little bit, has large windows on both sides, so you can see all the way through the trailer to see what's going on inside the clean room from the outside. If you were gonna ring the intercom, you'd be able to ring that intercom button and have somebody from the inside see who's out here to know if they wanna let you in or not, or um, just, just to control that security. All right, and before we go inside, I just want to point out that the trailer as it sits right now is not 100% complete. We're on a big push though to wrap it up as we um, reveal the new design at the Advanced Therapies Week in Miami in January. So um, you'll see some, some construction still happening, but m most of the systems are operational and we'll be able to get a nice tour through the trailer. So why don't we take a look inside. We'll enter our, our numbers into the keypad here for our access control system and then we can step inside. All right, so now we're in the entry room of our next generation of clean room trailer. Um, the entry room is the place where you come in, you've got hand washing capabilities in the sink, and then our control center for all of our services. So you can see that the uh, HMI here, human machine interface, is the place where you'd be able to access your building management system and be able to check all the features of the trailer to know whether things are working properly before you proceed further into the facility. Your CCTV system, to show you not only what's going on inside, but what's going on outside. Um, th this room is a non-classified space, um, and it's in this form we're in now, but the, the flexibility of the trailer also allows this to be a grade D or even a grade C space if needed. So it's a very, um, very flexible design, but we'll walk through this, this layout and you can see how this might work. You know, so some of the basic features here are timers for lights and you know, fire and security panels, fire alarms. So one of the more unique features is we partnered with BioQuill to put in a completely integrated VHP decontamination system into this trailer. It's an option for this trailer and any of its configurations. But as it's set up now, you'd actually put your, your sterilant in this device right here that's piped into the actual delivery system in the back. The control system and data collection happens up here, so it's completely GMP compliant. Um, again, a very unique system. There's some other features going on in here for maintenance, like up top there's a panel on the ceiling here where you can actually inject the testing uh, challenge medium for all your HEPA filters without bringing your equipment into the clean room itself. So you're able to keep things cleaner in your clean room while still making sure everything's functioning properly. Um, th this room is actually fitted with low wall returns. Uh, pressure monitor, so you know what the pressure is going into your next room. Um, again, the large windows looking back into the clean room from here. And then again, one of the more uh, interactive features for the user is the touch-free door. So you just wave your hand over the sensor and the door opens up to you. So you're able to go into the next room. All right, so now we're in the ante room. This is uh, the first actual clean room phase. This is the room where you'd come in, you'd uh, don your, your clean room PPE, there'd be some shelves in here, a small bench, and then your line of demarcation as you transition from the less clean to the clean side of the room. Not a lot goes on in here except for that. The one really cool feature is our brand new pass-through design we've developed in conjunction with our next generation of trailer. Uh, very innovative design, clean lines, um, and then the, the operation of the door and passing items through is, is uh, kind of unique. So you push the, the green button here, it tells you it's ready to go. When you push the button, it allows you to open the door. Door opens up like a gull wing style. Once the door is open, you can load any material you have going into the clean room or unload should you be coming out. You've got a table right below it for sorting materials. Once you're all set, close the door down, and then the green light's going to flash and you'll hear a blower ramp up actually as an integrated um, filtration system, a HEPA purge system. So now it's purging itself clean of any particulates that might have gotten into the pass box 
from this lower grade, lower grade clean room prior to entering into the main clean room. Um, and you see it's still flashing. It takes 20 to 30 seconds. Once that's done, um, you'll be able to open up the door from the other side. Right now, you could open this door back up, but it would, it would um, keep the other door locked. Okay, again, one of the things we've talked about with this new design is the flexibility of the design. Um, so what we've done is we've designed the entire mechanical system to be built the same way every time, but the layout inside can change around that same set of mechanical. So if you looked up at the ceiling, you see the solid bar going across our clean room grid. That's actually a place where the wall could be. So our current layout, we've got a small entry room and then a small ante room. We could remove this wall, bring this wall back and make one larger entry room into a larger clean room. So there's a number of different configurations and I'll try to point out some of the places, the walls that can be, but we've come up with seven different wall locations that can create 11 different layouts to fit to whatever your process might be, whether it's cell and gene therapy, whether it's a simple biocontainment lab, or whether it's a hospital pharmacy, the same mechanical platform will service all of those different features. It has a complete intercom system throughout the trailer. So if you need to contact somebody, you can press which room they're in, hands-free response. When, once they're activated, they can just answer you, have a free conversation hands-free. This is designed to be either ISO grade seven or ISO grade eight, which is the European grades, either grade C or grade D, um, depending on your configuration. All right, so that's what we have going on in the ante room, just, just enough to get gowned up, plenty of space, as you can see, to get one or two people in here, get gowned up, check each other's gowning. So let's go on into the main clean room now. Okay, now we're into the main clean room. This is designed to be either grade C or it could even be grade B in some cases, which is actually ISO 5 at rest. So um, very, very flexible design once again. As we come in, one of the first features you see is this BioQuill distribution unit for the VHP system. And again, we, we touched on this in the interim, but this is actually where the distribution happens. A lot of great features. The fans are built into it to actually distribute the sterile in throughout the um, facility. Um, just very innovative design and allows for that VHP sterilization to happen um, almost real time. I mean, if you had to do a daily sterilization, this would be actually be appropriate for what you're doing. Um, again, we can see the pass box, um, the other side of the pass box where you could actually load stuff. Again, functions very much like the other side. You press the button and door opens, close the door and our purge system will start up again. Okay, so then they again operates on the, the same way it does and this size does the other. Um, the intercom system, again, realize that the buttons are just there if you want to initiate a call. If someone's calling into the clean space, all you have to do is talk. It's a hands-free system, so you could talk right back and forth. Um, again, the wave to open to enter and exit the room. Um, you'll notice this is a very large space. This, this, this clean room is 29 feet long, almost 8 feet wide. Um, allows plenty of space for what's going on. Um, as we walk back in through, down, down the length of the laboratory, again, you'll notice we're in a construction site. We've got the, the floors and some of the delicate surfaces protected with cardboard just to keep it nice when we reveal this at the Advanced Therapies Week in Miami. Um, some of the other cool features we do is all of our electrical power and data is fed from the ceiling down. The casework gets integrated where you have user level receptacles for both the, the data and the electric. What this means though is that when you have to clean your walls every week, you're able to get to those, those horizontal, the vertical surfaces very frequently where cleaning the ceiling happens less frequently. So by moving those up, you've actually taken a big burden off of the user for that intricate cleaning process. There are some features, again, we try to keep these walls smooth. The walls are made from arcoplast. So you'll notice everywhere where the design allows, there are no seams, only seams where we have um, a, a change in elevation of the walls. Um, and then we'll take a look back in the back there, some of the features of the arcoplast that, that are the uh, the, 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 one of the very cleanable features, not only is it a nice, durable, smooth yeah. surface, but the corners have a very nice cove in them. Let's take a look at that. All right, so with this Arcoplast, in addition to the very durable, smooth walls, the corners actually have a cove filled in with a two-part Arcoplast compound that allows for almost like a, a sealed sink, and it's, it's a rigid uh, corner, not like a silicone RTV that would peel out over time. So just 
one of the great features of working in, in a germ-free mobile clean room is, is the durability of everything. So in addition to these, the BioQuill and our pass box, some of the other unique things about this trailer is you'll notice some elevation differences here, so some reveal differences on the walls. That's because our lower returns are actually built into the wall, so they have very little additional cleaning to do, but you have the integrated low wall returns. Um, and then the, the, the layout of the trailer, I mentioned the flexibility. There, there are some applications where you may want a single pass um, room. Everything you see on the left side here are exhaust low wall grills. Everything on the right are returned back to the HVAC system. So by segregating the rooms, um, you can change from a recirculating system to a single pass. And that again plays into these points in the ceiling where we can move these walls and segregate areas. So another unique feature here is the, is the overall height. Very, very high ceilings in here, over eight and a half feet that allow for a standard class two biosafety cabinet to be used um, in here on a normal stand, um, and which is great because Germfree's just developed a new all stainless steel um, class two biosafety cabinet that'll be part of our reveal at the um, Advanced Therapies Week in Miami. So again, a number of cool features. Um, one of the last ones to point out is the ability to expand the next generation trailer into multiple trailers to have a, a unique, uh, unique floor plan and actually to expand it. So the version we're in now is set up as a bi-directional personnel flow facility. So you'd come in through the doors we followed in, you'd exit back out the same way. But the design of our, our trailer and the integrated pass-through tunnel allows us to connect multiple trailers together, even allowing for some unlevelness of the, of the parking area, for example, where you're placing the trailer. Uh, and that you'll see that as you walk around the outside, you'll see some of the features like a four point leveling system that allows us to line these trailers up once they're side by side. Let's take a look here at where the tunnel and the, and the door would be for this. So in the, in the current bi-directional layout, this door serves as an emergency exit, but you see there's also a place to put another wall up here. This could actually become a unidirectional clean room where you walk out and this becomes your exit corridor or it could actually tunnel into another trailer if you wanted to step up to a grade b environment or something like that so um, just a lot of flexibility in what we're doing the doors can be on either side for this particular layout we have it here as an emergency exit but again the flexibility of our new tunnel system will allow both in the rear of the trailer and in the front of the trailer for there to be corridors connecting multiple trailers together. All right, so in addition to being very cleanable, um, I mentioned the durability before, but let me show you how durable it is. It's only one piece, a couple smudges from the hammer, but good to go. It's really amazing how durable this product is. You'll notice there's no guardrails for equipment moving around or any kind of bumpers. So again, I'm Jeff Sorrell, Senior VP of Engineering. I appreciate you joining me for this quick walkthrough. Um, looking forward to seeing you in Miami for the Advanced Therapies Week. We'll be at Facilitate and get you a live walkthrough. And then if you have some big interest, we're going to be taking this, uh, this exact unit on a road show up and down the East Coast. Um, be happy to schedule a visit to your site, see, us, uh, see myself, one of my colleagues at the Facilitate at Advanced Therapies Week, and we'll be able to schedule that for you and uh, take it to you. Take this out there, show your whole team exactly what the capabilities are of this uh, mobile cleanroom. Thanks again. Have a great day.